Now we will start with human circulatory system. And as we said, we will talk about three things first and then we will understand how this system works. The first thing that we are starting with are blood vessels. In humans, there are three types of blood vessels. Arteries, veins, and capillaries. Now, before we uh, take the comparison between this, let us understand the structure. The structure of arteries and veins. These two mainly and then capillaries because capillaries are the thinnest uh, blood vessels and they are made up of single layer of cells. So we will compare these two first and then see how capillaries are different from these. So arteries and veins they have three layered walls. Outermost is tunica, externa, it is also known as tunica adventitia. It is made up of fibrous tissue. And fibrous tissue are both uh, collagen and elastin. It provides strength to the blood vessel. And because of this, fibers which are present. So the functional part is it provides strength. This is the layer which is supplied with nerves and even with vasa vasodilator. Supplied with nerves and vasa vasodilator. These vasa vasorums are actually blood vessels of blood vessels. Blood vessels have a function to supply blood to a particular part and bring blood back from that part to the heart. But which is that blood vessel which is going to supply the blood to the blood vessel? Those blood vessels are known as vasa vasorum because these blood vessels that is arteries, veins, capillaries they also need oxygen, they also need the nutritive material. So the blood vessels which are bringing this oxygen to the blood vessel are called vasa vasorum. So we call them as blood vessels of blood vessels, that is vasa vasorum. So they are supplying the blood to the tunica externa. This is the outermost layer. This is the outermost layer. The second layer is called tunica media. And as the name tells us, it is the middle layer. It is also made up of muscular fibers or muscular, we can call it muscular layer. The innermost is called tunica interna and this tunica interna is divided into two layers. This is the innermost and it is made up of two layers. Out of these two, the outer is elastic layer or elastin layer and the inner is endo Endothelium. Endothelium is simple squamous epithelium. And elastin layer is made up of yellow elastin fibers. So these three layers make the walls of arteries and veins. Now we will have a comparative diagram so that we understand which layer is thicker in arteries and which is thinner in arteries and comparatively.
So if we draw a transverse section of arteries and vein, this is TS of artery and this is transverse section of a vein. The outermost layer which we have drawn here is tunica externa and as we said it is made up of collagen and elastin fibers or it is a fibrous layer. After we draw the diagrams, we will be able to compare both these layers in arteries and veins. This outermost layer which I have drawn here is tunica externa, the fibrous layer. And here also this is the outermost layer that is tunica externa which is again the fibrous layer. If you are able to compare these two, you would find there is a difference in the thickness of tunica externa. It is thinner in case of arteries, whereas it is thicker in case of veins. So when we draw or when we make that comparative table, we will also write this comparative point. So let us write this as tunica externa, outermost layer. Inner to it is tunica media which is a muscular layer. And these are the smooth muscles which are present here. Here also the next layer is going to be same tunica media. Again you are able to see difference in the thickness. The tunica media is thicker in case of arteries where it is thinner in case of vein. So this layer is tunica media and it is made up of the smooth muscles. Now inner to it is tunica interna and as we said tunica interna has two layers this layer is made up of elastin fibers that is yellow elastin fibers and here also the same layer with elastin fibers and inner to it is the endothelium so endothelium is the innermost layer and it is made up of simple squamous epithelium. Here also endothelium which is again made up of simple squamous epithelium. Let us label this. The red one which we have drawn here is the elastin layer and this black line of cells which we have made this is the endothelium and this these two elastin and endothelium together make the tunica interna layer. After comparing these we can also realize that there is a difference in the lumen also. Let us go over the walls. The walls of arteries and veins, they are made up of three layers. Tunica externa, tunica media and interna. Externa is for strength uh, giving and that is why it is made up of yellow fiber and white fiber. White means uh, collagen fibers. So this outermost layer is tunica externa and it is thicker in case of veins. It is thinner in arteries. The second layer is tunica media which is made up of smooth muscles and it is thicker in case of arteries whereas thinner in case of veins. Tunica interna is two layer. The outer layer that means from inside if we are talking about this. 
the outer is elastin and the innermost is endothelium. So elastin again thicker in case of arteries, thinner in case of veins and the innermost layer which is made up of squamous simple epithelium that is the innermost lining or endothelium and the space which is seen is called the lumen and this lumen is wider in case of veins as compared to arteries. So veins have a wider lumen, arteries have a narrower lumen. This is the comparison between the arteries and veins and capillaries have only one layer and that is endothelium. So if we have to make a section through a capillary, it would have only this simple squamous epithelium and this epithelium, it is resting on basement membrane. So there would be just a membrane on which these cells or this epithelium is resting. So this is transverse section of a capillary. So after understanding the layers, we will be able to compare arteries and veins in a better manner. But structurally, these are the differences. Now we will take a comparative study between arteries and veins. We will now compare the blood vessels, that is arteries and veins. And comparison, uh, we will start from the external uh, appearance location and then we will take the histological or the internal structure based comparison. The first point, arteries take blood away from the heart. And veins bring blood into the heart. Next comparison is which type of blood do they carry? Arteries carry oxygenated blood. But there is an exception. Except pulmonary artery. Veins carry deoxygenated blood and here also we have one exception and that is pulmonary vein. When we see the structure of heart we will realize that the pulmonary artery which is taking blood away from the heart but the blood which is going through it is deoxygenated and the vein which is bringing blood into the heart is bringing oxygenated blood. The next comparison is location. Arteries are normally deep seated under the muscles. They are deep under the muscles. Again, here we have some exception. There are certain locations where arteries are superficial. So again, they are deep under the muscles except few locations like wrist and that is why towards the thumb side if we touch we are able to feel the pulse. So in wrist region, neck region, neck region means somewhere here in our neck again we are able to feel the pulse. The reason is the artery is superficial and that is why we are able to feel that throbbing when the blood flows through it. And other regions are the temple, that is this part of our uh, forehead, and in the ankle region. So these are certain places where arteries are superficial. Otherwise, arteries are deep under the muscles. If we have to talk of the veins, they are superficial, that is under the skin. So they are very superficial, not under the uh, muscles. Next comparison is whether they have valves or not. 
our trees do not have walls. The function of wall is to maintain unidirectional flow or in other words to prevent the backward flow. The blood which is coming into the arteries is coming from the pump that is through the heart. So heart contracts, it pumps the blood into the arteries. So there is a force with which the blood is being pumped into the arteries. And that is why there is no scope of reverse flow. Whereas in case of veins, if a vein has to bring blood from our feet up, up to the heart, then one, it has to bring the blood against gravity and two, in our lower part of the body or anywhere else, there is no pumping organ. So there is nothing which is going to force the blood up. It has to move up on its own with the help of the muscles around it which contract. And that is why the veins have walls. They have walls to prevent backward flow. Arteries don't need it because the blood is getting pumped with, uh, from the heart. Next comparison, we can take the uh, histology part now. We have seen the three layers. In this case, tunica externa is thinner. Here it is thicker. And this is a comparative thing. Next point is tunica media. It is thicker in case of arteries. Whereas here it is thinner. Then the next or the innermost layer and in the innermost layer we will take only the elastin layer. So elastin layer of tunica interna is again thicker here and thinner in this vein. Let us also compare the lumen. So the lumen is narrow here. Whereas in case of veins, it is wider. Few more points on which we can compare these two types of blood vessels. If an artery is cut, the blood flow <coughs> which takes place from the artery is peculiar. It is jerky because every time heart beats, it pumps the blood. So if there is a blood vessel which is artery cut, then the blood comes out every time the heart pumps the blood. So the flow of blood is jerky. Whereas in case of vein, as there is no pumping organ, the blood flow is uniform. So next point is from a cut artery, blood flow is jerky. Whereas in case of a vein, the blood flow, again we have to remember we are talking about the cut blood vessel. Blood flow, flow from a cut vein is regular or smooth or uniform. So just by looking at the type of blood flow, which is happening from a cut area, we can understand whether an artery is being cut or, or has been cut or it is the vein which got cut. Uh, the blood flow is going to be smooth, uniform if a vein gets cut because there is no pumping organ. Whereas from an artery, the blood comes out in a jerky movement. Whenever the heart contracts, the blood is uh, thrown out. So there is a difference in the flow when an artery or a vein gets cut. One more uh, interesting thing about these blood vessels, arteries, they get empty after a person's death. 
So I am writing this 10th point here for the arteries. They get empty after death of the animal. Animal or in case of human beings. Whereas the veins still have blood. They have blood even after death. One more comparison can be if an empty artery is cut or after the death, if the artery is cut, the section is going to be circular. Whereas if the vein is cut after death, then the circular vein diameter is going to collapse. So that is also one difference.